Figma does not have a native iPad OS app, but it is a web-based application and should work on any browser. So what is the experience of using Figma on the iPad? The bottom line, it cannot replace the desktop application. Using Figma with the Apple Pencil is doable, but it's not the best experience. It is very usable with a mouse and keyboard, but it's limited. There are third-party apps. Figurative is the most promising out of these. It allows for double tap to undo using locally fonts, among other things. This is I'm not desperate to make Figma work on the iPad, and I'm just exploring this out of curiosity and exploring new options. And due to the weird privacy policy of Figurative, I did not try it. And I focused this video on using Figma on browsers I already use on the iPad. I tried three browsers, Brave, Safari and Chrome. Out of the three, Chrome gave me the best experience with Figma. Safari and Brave were not usable with touch and pencil simply because I could not change the page. I simply could not change the page, no matter what I did. With a mouse and keyboard, they are usable, but with more quirks. For example, to move between pages, sometimes it doesn't work. And to get it to work, I needed to right click first and then click on it. While in Chrome, it just works. Leaving Chrome to be the best for now, when it comes to using Figma on the iPad, that is. Using Figma with the Apple Pencil, the experience is okay. It's not bad, especially Figma was designed as a desktop app, but not being able to undo is a huge problem to overcome. I had to go to the main menu to undo, and doing this multiple times is a joke. The other option is to have a keyboard close by and press Command-Z every time I want to undo something. Both are very inconvenient when working with a pencil. Another issue is not being able to right-click on objects or press and hold for options. Again, I had to go into the menu more often than I would like. Using the pen tool is nice, but it's not much better than using the pen tool with a mouse. Using the pencil tool gives you more control than using it with a mouse, but I never used the pencil tool anyways. And then again, using the pencil tool in Affinity, an app made for the iPad, is a much better experience. So overall, it's not a good experience to use Figma with the Apple Pencil. The best way to use Figma on the iPad is to use it with the mouse and keyboard. I could almost do everything. The iPad's use with mouse and keyboard has gotten much better generally, but still they are a little bit slower to react, which makes a difference when designing in Figma. Finally, the screen size is an issue. When I'm working on MacBook Air in Figma, I find that often the screen gets crowded, having even smaller iPad Air screen makes the experience worse and slows down the workflow. Now as for quirks using mouse and keyboard with Figma on the iPad, one of the problems is navigating around. When I'm using Figma on Mac, I just use the trackpad to navigate around, and I have no problem with that. I never use the hand tool. But on the iPad, it is best to use the hand tool. Scrolling with the mouse does not work. You can, of course, press on the space bar and then press with the mouse, but on the iPad, this does not work well, but just keeps flying around the place. So it's not the best way to go about it. The best and most precise way is to use the hand tool which is fine, it's, it's really simple. You just press the H key and you move to the hand tool and you can move around. To get back to the move tool, you can press the V key again. So it's a simple workflow that you can get used to. A very annoying thing is that the cursor does not show you which tool you have. It just shows the same dumb circle that is shown at all times. So you have to look at the toolbar above to know which tool you have selected. And this is very annoying when you want to uh, resize something or you want to tilt something around. You cannot see those things, but still you can work with it. Even if you're resizing things, it isn't a problem. You can look at the toolbar to see which tool you have. And if you want to tilt things, you can use the design panel instead to tilt things and change their orientation. Generally to zoom in and out, it doesn't work by pressing the Alt key and just using the scroll bar on the mouse. It just doesn't work. So either you use your fingers for precise zooming and generally for zooming in and out, I use the minus and plus buttons and they work also very well. So it's not, it's not a big issue. I'm pretty sure there are other quirks, not just these, but these are the ones that were obvious to me. I tried a couple of plugins and every one of them worked on the iPad. 
I don't know if every single plugin out there works on the iPad, but the couple I have tried, they did work. I read about a very cool use case of the iPad as a second screen in the article using Figma with Apple Pencil by Nelson Taruk or Nelson Taruk that you'll find in a link in the description below. It goes more in depth about using Figurative to present the prototype on the iPad while editing on a computer in real time. But my excitement quickly faded. Presenting prototypes in Chrome is useless. It just gives you a screen that is too zoomed in. You get no feel for how the design would look like. It's just not usable. In Brave and Safari, it's much better. But if you present your design inside a device, which I love to do, you're out of luck because it breaks. So if you must present prototypes, use Brave or Safari and do not present your prototype inside a device. Of course, it's possible to design on the iPad and present the prototype on the computer. But this would be very dumb since working on the computer is faster, with less quirks and gives you the best experience. So if you have it nearby, it makes no sense to work on the iPad, then present your prototype on the computer. If you have a newer Mac than I do, you might still do that using Sidecar. So to recap, Figma on the iPad cannot currently replace the desktop experience. It is very inconvenient to use with a pencil, without being able to tap undo and not being able to navigate through pages. It works well with mouse and keyboard. Out of Chrome, Safari and Brave, Chrome is the best browser that works with Figma on the iPad. Yet for presenting prototypes, using Brave or Safari is better, as long as it's not displayed inside the device. If you're desperate to make Figma work on the iPad, you can try Figurative. I'm happy using Figma on the desktop, and it's good to know that it's possible to use it on the iPad if I must, as a backup that is. And maybe in the future I might try Figurative, who knows.